Hi all, this is Dmitry. Welcome to my next video about uh, the battery testing. And today it will be a not uh, normal, not useful videos. Here we have some Duracells remain from video about Duracell testing. And this uh, these Duracells are a bit special. Why? Because Duracell Ultras and Duracell Quantum they have that battery tester built in. Uh, all, all other kind of Duracells and other brands don't have uh, something like that. So th these uh, batteries are not used, not tested yet. And let's test the battery tester, tester itself. This tester, here I have some plastic wrapping removed from uh, one Duracell Quantum. And as you can see we just have a conduction uh, conduction material here and this conduction material have a form of triangle here is wider and uh, at plus pole it's wider and when it comes to minus it gets narrower and narrower so here we have a most narrow point and the idea is when you press these dots these two dots you have the connection you have the connection and uh, current flows through this strip but because uh, we have a strip narrower here and wider here amount of heat generating in uh, one square millimeter of that uh, strip amount of heat, uh, heat per square millimeter will be uh, not equal uh, we have the same current but we have the different resistance so here it will be more heat here it will be less heat and here we have uh, just liquid crystals. I'm not sure if my hand is far enough, or looks like no. But if you uh, heat it up with hot water, for example, it will change the color. So no magic is here. You have just a resistor that heats up liquid crystals and they change the color. Let's test how accurate this thing is. To test this we will do follow the following thing. I will try to discharge these uh, two Duracells with uh, low current, let it be 100 uh, milliamps. I will use a uh, specific, uh, specific charger. One moment, please. Here we go. We will use this ISDT C4 Evo Pro charger discharger automatic uh, device and I will uh, set uh, current, uh, so, sorry, capacity limit for 500 milliamp hours and we will do several iterations. We will uh, try to discharge it several times with 500 milliamp hours at a time and after each iteration we will check what this indicator will show. For start let's uh, take a look what do we have uh, from the beginning and we have full indicator and we have full indicator here. So let's try to see. Will it be accurate? So for example, if if this have uh, two amp hours, in theory, when we will discharge it at uh, 500 milliamp hours, one segment will turn off, then uh, two segments will turn off, and so on. But uh, what will we see in reality how accurate is this tester. Let's see. First iteration of this charge is finished. As, as you can see, we draw about 500 milliamp hours, a little less. Actually, I did a mistake uh, in previous part of this video. Uh, this charger really has uh, capacity limiting but it can't limit uh, discharge capacity, so it looks like it's only for charge and it looks like it's hard-coded, so I can't set 500 milliamp hours. So I will do this manually. And as you can see we're almost done. Let's extract the cells and take a look what do we have in the indicator. Okay, first one let it be Duracell Ultra. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly. I hope yes. 
it shows fully charged. We draw about 20 to 25 percent of their capacity and it's still fully charged for ultra and uh, yes it's about fully charged for quantum maybe a bit less yeah actually it's, uh, it's showing about 80 percent but this is not super accurate and for ultra it's still showing fully charged but it's definitely no not okay let's do another iteration another 500 milliamp hours are out from these batteries here you can see the capacity in this round it's 500 milliamp hours for both of them let's take a look what do we have uh, with this uh, battery tester indication okay first one Duracell Ultra almost full and Duracell Quantum oh surprisingly it's almost empty one I got one red sector and something in yellow sector oh and something in green so this shows about 16 percent and this still show shows about 500 100 percent maybe 95 percent I'm not sure actually we draw about uh, one amp hour from them so it's about 40 to 50 percent of the capacity maybe a bit less so it looks like at quantum we have more or less accurate indication at ultra looks like no but let's see what we do we will have in this in next round sorry and uh, what capacity we will have after all so maybe ultra will show capacity about 2600 million hours and I don't know so okay let's try again another 500 million hours passed as you can see a little more actually for the Rosa Ultra 502 milliamp hours so let's take a look what do we have at the indicators now we spent about 16 to 60 to 75 percent of the capacity let's check this Duracell Ultra and almost full maybe 90 percent maybe 85 and let's check the quantum one something about 50 percent maybe 45 okay interesting I think I think uh, about 25 to 30 percent of capacity remains in them but Jurassic Ultra still shows about full charge and quantum shows about half okay let's do another iteration and check what do we have let's do another iteration Another iteration is finished. Again, we got 500 milliamp hours for quantum almost 500 milliamp hours. Let's uh, see what indicators will show us. Uh, just to recap, uh, total capacity we got from these batteries is about 2 ampere hours. So it's about I don't know, maybe 18%. Let's see what will show this indicator. 
It's about 75%, three segments after two amp hours. Interesting. And let's see what we have at quantum. Oh, probably it's barely. It's barely recorded. Let's try again. So about 75% here and quantum. Come on. And quantum is almost empty for the red segment I see something but not clearly. But only for one red segment. Yellow is not change the color uh, at all. So for quantum with the same amount of uh, capacity we drought, we have almost empty indication. Oh yeah, we got something at the yellow segment, but not much. But for ultra, with the same capacity spent, we have 75%. Quite interesting. Let's do another try, another iteration. I think we probably will not get 500 milliamp hours from them. One more time, probably it will be less. But let's see what we will have. I will change the condition, the end voltage to 0 0.7. No, maybe 0, yeah, 0 0.7. To ensure that they will be fully discharged. So, okay, let's go. This time I missed the moment a bit, and now you can see that the uh, capacity is in this round is about 10% more than, than it should be, but maybe it's even better. And now we got almost two and a half amp hours from these two batteries. Let's take a look at the indicator. They almost flat because we had uh, less than one volt voltage of them, and now it shows nothing. In previous time it showed about 75%, and now suddenly zero. Okay, let's check quantum. I don't know if you can see this, but the red segment tries to change the color, but it's barely visible, almost nothing. So we got almost zero on both of the indicators after two and a half amp hours. Let's discharge them until the device will shut off automatically. Just, just to see what remains in them. And here we go. Finally the charge is finished. And as you can see for the Duracell Ultra we got only 30 and 31 milliamp hours. So it was almost completely discharged at the end of uh, previous round. And for quantum we got uh, 200 milliamp hours more than from Ultra. So it seems like uh, Duraso Ultra has uh, capacity about uh, 2 and 5 amp hours and Duraso Quantum has capacity about uh, 2 and 7 amp hours. And interesting in its uh, Ultra shows 75% on the gauge on the battery tester when it uh, was discharged uh, to 2 amp hours so only 1 5 of capacity remains but it shows 75% quantum instead uh, shows more or less accurate readings and uh, it shows about 20% uh, when it uh, was discharged to 2 amp hours so 
what we can see here do is this uh, battery tester accurate or not well i think it can help us to understand if battery is uh, completely flat or not but uh, at least in case of ultra we cannot uh, tell how many capacity remains because it will show good values but actually it can be almost flat so let me know in the comments what do you think thank you for watching bye bye